Botswana has sent nearly 300 troops to Mozambique. They joined soldiers from the regional bloc Southern African Development Community. Troops from South Africa and Rwanda are already in Cabo Delgado. They are part of a mission to help Mozambique fight the growing Islamist insurgency. Well, for, uh, we continue with that story. We're now joined by Chidi Noano, Defense and Security Analyst at Pekavi Consulting, which is based in London. Thank you so much for joining us, Abide. R Rwanda, a non-member of SADC, has sent troops to Mozambique. How is this being received? Oh, good day, and thank you for having me. Um, I think your reception depends on who you ask. So the uh, Mozambican opposition parties have obviously... Um, been quite opposed to the to the deployment. Uh, they've the, it is Mozambique has quite a long history of foreign intervention, going back to the days of of the civil war, uh, from the South Africans and, and the Russians, the Cubans, and all all of the parties that more or less use Mozambique as a as a proxy battlefield. So there is a, a fairly negative history of of foreign involvement, which kind of um, bites with all the with um, all uh, Mozambicans. So, but I think the population of Cabo Delgado will be just quite happy for any kind of assistance that's coming in. Um, and the Rwandans are, you know, quite well trained, quite experienced, and have, you know, good experience of counterinsurgency. So, I think from the perspective of the um, Mozambican population in Cabo Delgado, this is quite welcome. But uh, if you look at, um, you know, the political elite, this is seen as a, a fairly divisive move. Not move not only because Parliament wasn't consulted, but because Rwanda is not even part of SADC. So this is. This looks like a unilateral move by um, Freddie Moore and the president. Well, just speak to us. Other than Rwanda, the other nations that are going to be in Mozambique are considered, and they are foreign troops. How is that being received? Well, this is it's a slightly different dynamic as um, th this is a SADC deployment, and the, many of these countries already have a, some sort of a history with um with Mozambique, so Zimbabwe, which will be deploying troops, you know, for for many years during the 80s, you know, uh, deployed troops into into um, Mozambique to defend, uh, you know, the railways. Um, South Africa has a very mixed history, obviously, in Mozambique, um, but you know, they're familiar; they're the regional superpower, the regional hegemon. So everyone expects South Africa to set up to, to step up. Other powers such as Botswana and Namibia, they have less of a controversial history, but they also have fairly good, you know, but small, uh, competent militaries. So, so I think the, the mood is, is much more positive. I think the biggest issue there is more in the delay in the deployment and, you know, the questions about its sustainability. South Africa obviously has its own internal issues, and South Africa is the kind of linchpin around which all of this is built around. And if South Africa can't sustain this effort, then it's unlikely that the other countries can sustain a major effort by themselves. Chidi, um, we've seen this happen in various parts of the continent when it comes to insurgency, that sometimes what happens is that it spills over into, uh, crosses borders into the rest of the region. So just speak to us about how this situation in Mozambique could impact stability within the static region. Well, I think it's already having an impact. I mean, in Tanzania, as, uh, you know, in particular, you know, there's a lot of... Um, cross-border issues, not just in terms of the violence or in terms of uh, um, people from Tanzania, you know, crossing in to, to join the rebels or fight with the rebels, but in terms of the disruption of the economy, the, you know, the, the illegal mining and all the other kind of um, economic activities or illegal economic activities that surround insurgencies or ungoverned spaces. And at the same time, you've got the disruption that comes from uh, the inability of Mozambique to exploit its, um, you know, its gas fields from, you know, the total, uh, you know, declared force majeure and all, all the other things associated with that. Now, that would have had a good impact on the on the regional economy. So all of these things put together, you know, it, it's no longer a Mozambican problem. It's definitely a, um, a regional problem. And the contagion that would come if, um, you know, this group is successful and can influence, you know, group, uh, you know, other uh, groups within the SADC region. You know, South Africa has a significant Islamic uh, population. It has a small but fairly, fairly vocal, uh, you know, Islamic ex extremist uh, kind of um, sec uh, sector as well that could be influenced by this. So it's in everyone's interest to kind of uh, keep this under control, con keep, contain it to Mozambique and hopefully wipe it out before it spreads. Chidi, thank you so much for joining us on the program. Abide Chidi, an international defense and security expert, and he's based in London.